If you're watching this video, I'm going to show you how to one, get into Google Slides, and two, how to use text. Because there's a lot you can do with different words in Google Slides. So first things first, you should be in your classroom if you want to use Google Slides. Now this is what the home page should look like, the stream page in your Google Classroom. And to get to Google Slides, it's actually pretty easy. If you look in the top right corner, you'll see there's these nine dots hanging out over there. So give it a click and you'll reveal that one of the options is Google Slides. It's a bright yellow page, you can't miss it. So give that a click. And it will immediately open up a new window. Now what's cool about Google Slides is any work you do here gets saved right down here. Now I'm a teacher, there's tons of things for me to look at down here. I obviously have a lot of Google Slides, but for you this year, you might just have a few to look out for. So. Let's say you want to make a new one. You can touch the blank plus sign over here with your mouse, give that a click, and it opens up a new slide here. This is kind of like square one, ground zero, where you're gonna be doing all your work. Now the first thing I'm gonna show you is not gonna be text, but I'm gonna show you something really cool to get started before you do your writing, and that's the theme bar over here. The themes are really interesting because they can change up the look of your Google slide almost immediately. And you can kind of tell, you know, each one has its own style. All the words are placed in different places. There are different fonts. There's different colors at work here. So if you want to get started, you can choose, you know, one of these to get started with. Let's say you don't like any of them, that's what the blank is for. But personally, I'm gonna use this black one because I think it's easier on the eyes. So, how do you add text to Google Slides? Very easy. All you have to do is inside of a text box, which a lot of Google Slides will give you, it says click to add title, click to add subtitle, click into one of those boxes and you can immediately start changing the words. So I'm gonna write, welcome to Google Slides. And underneath, I can click down here, I'm gonna write, by Mr. Shapiro. So to add words, you simply click in a text box and you start typing. Now, how to change the font of, you know, your writing, that's pretty simple too. What you wanna do is click down with your mouse, hold it down, and then with the other finger, bring it over all the words you'd like to change the font of. So you'll see it highlights in like a bluish kind of color. So once you have it highlighted, you're gonna move your eyes up towards the middle top here, and you'll see if I hover over here, it says font, right where this font, which is called Arial is. So I'm gonna give that a click and you get a whole menu of different kinds of fonts that you might be interested in using. Whatever is working for the feeling, the mood of your work. So I'm gonna choose this one, and you can see all the words changed pretty immediately. Now, if you want to just change a few words, what you can do is click, hold down, and let's say I just wanna mess around with the words Google Slides. Now, you can highlight that, I can change anything I want. So for example, if I hit the B, it makes it a little bit thicker, so it kind of stands out more. If I hit it again, it goes away. If I hit the I, it gets like a little slanted. That's I for italics. And then if I hit the U, it underlines it. And again, if I hit that icon one more time, it goes away. But let's say I want to change the color. If you look next to the B, I, and U, there is an A and you give that a click and it brings you down to like this whole swatch of colors. You can choose any that you like and what's cool is as you click them while your words are highlighted, it can show you what it looks like down below. Now I happen to like this color. I think it, it fits what I want it to do right now. But let's say I wanna change another word to a different color. I'm gonna click, hold down, highlight the word I want. I'm gonna click that A again. And let me show you something else you can do with the colors. These are not the only colors you have to use. There's a lot of good ones here, but let's say you want something really specific. You can look down here, and in the custom section, there's a plus sign. If you give that a click, you'll get access to this giant 
color scheme of all the colors of the rainbow. And if you move around this white dot here, again, you have to kind of click and drag it, you can get like bright to dark to different kinds of tints and shades, and it all depends on what you are really looking for. So if I want like kind of like a light green, I'll move it towards the light green, I will hit OK, and then my words will change just like that. So that is how you change color, font type. But what if you want to change the size? So let's look down here to my name. I'm going to show you another trick too. If you want to highlight a lot of words really fast, you can do two clicks really quick to highlight one, but you can also do three clicks to get everything in a box. So one, two, three, and now I have everything highlighted. I'm going to change the font just because I want to change it up a little bit. Now let's say I want to change this font and make it bigger. What I'm going to do is highlight everything. Up here, you'll see a minus and a plus. Plus size makes it bigger, minus makes it smaller. If you want something really specific, you can click on that number and you have a bunch of, you know, pre-selected font sizes you can work with and you can click on them and see what works. I kind of want mine a little bit bigger. And there we go. You can do that also with, you know, single words. You can do it with all the words. Whatever you're highlighting, you can pretty much change. So that's pretty much how font works. I'm gonna show you one last trick though. What if you don't have a text box to type in? Cause these ones kind of came with the slide. I can kind of mess around with these any way I'd like. What if I need to make one? Well, here's what you wanna do. Click away on like the gray space here. And up here, you'll see a T kind of trapped inside a little box. If you click on it, which says text box, your mouse will change to a plus sign. And what you can do is if you click and hold down with one finger and then drag with the other one, you can make your own box, depending on if you want it really small, if you want it really big, and then I can let go of it. So now I can start typing. Hello, everyone. All right. Now, let's say I want to get rid of text. Let's say I maybe wrote too much or maybe it won't fit on this page or I'm gonna need to put it somewhere else or maybe I just don't need these words anymore. What you wanna do is click on it. You'll see a blue box start to appear, uh, which you can also change the size of, which is really helpful. If you grab some of these corners on these little blue squares, you can change the size of this box. But if you wanna get rid of it, click on one of these lines in between these blue boxes click on it and then hit the delete button and now it is gone forever however you can also do one some other cool things with it too if you wanted to turn a text box on its side there's this blue circle here and if you hover over it your mouse will turn into like a little plus sign click hold down and now you can rotate it so it can be like you know all the way upside down if i want it to be or i can do it sideways which is a little hard to read you kind of have to turn your neck but um, you can do all sorts of placement with it and then move it around again by clicking on this blue line here. That's how you can move things, that's how you can delete it. That's pretty much how you can control the text box. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you got a lot out of this you know, tutorial. If there's anything else you need to know, um, you can always play around with you know, looking up here. Again, if you click on the text, you'll see your menu kind of changes. So if I click away, none of it's here. But if I click on the words, they reappear. And then you can also do really cool things too. Like um, if I highlight these words, I hit these three dots. I can put my words in the center, which they already are. I can move them to the right, which they kind of, you know, you can change the placement of it. You can also add, if you ever wanted to, you can put bullet points here. Not like I need them, but there's a whole other toolbar here hiding in these three dots. So, you know, get creative with it. This is how you use text in Google Slides. And I hope this was helpful.